empower you to go higher in Christ, all right? And that's what we all about. So uh, at this time, put your hands together for Sister Tiffany Black. Yeah. <laughs> The one I love is both patient and understanding. He knows my every thought, my every desire without me even saying a word. He can see right through to the inner part of me. Even when I'm trying to shield myself from him, he sees through me with such transparency. He can sense my emotions as if they were his own. When I hurt, he hurts. When I'm sad, he's sad. He lifts me up in those times with such encouraging words, words that cut through to the very core of me. They warm my spirit with such a vigor as I've never known, with such a soft yet sweet whisper of words in my ear. He shifts my pain into joy and my anger into peace. He embraces me and comforts me right when I need it the most. He knows just what to say and how to say it. His love overpowers me to the point that I can't hold back the tears. I rejoice in knowing that he truly cares for me. I'm elated by his very presence in my life. I can pour out my soul to him and he attentively listens. I know that I can depend on him to be there through the thick and the thin. He never hides himself from me when I seek after him. He reveals to me who I am, who he is, and who he wants to be in my life. He shows me that all things are possible for him. He is the light for which I can see my path. He guides me daily so that I will not get lost or go astray. He cares for me with such love that is immeasurable, a love that knows no boundaries and can never be suppressed. Even with my faults and misfortunes, it doesn't waver. He even showers me with little gifts along the way. Whether great or small, I take the time to show my appreciation. The greatest gift that he has given is something so precious that it can never be replaced. And the thing is that he gave it willingly for me. No, he doesn't provide for me everything that I want, but he supplies everything that I need. He tells me that everything I need is in the palm of his hand. All I have to do is continue to do as he asks, and everything shall be given unto me. So tell me, how could I turn away from a love as great as this? And how could I turn away from the one who takes out the time to do this for me? The answer is, I don't. I try to love him with my mind, body, and especially my spirit. I do this by keeping my mind focused on him. My body I use as a vessel to do his work. And my spirit is his spirit, working through me with the sole purpose of showing and teaching others to love and to be with me. one um, is entitled The Public Show is Over. I once walked in darkness, but now I walk in the light. My mind, body, and spirit was used for Satan's delight. I was his puppet, and he controlled my strings. He masterfully maneuvered me to do the most sinful of things. He would steer me left when I wanted to go right. He wanted to keep me lost, confused, and destroying my life. But I discovered someone so wonderful and true. His name is Jesus. Yes, he will help me through. 
This mirage so beautifully painted with wickedness and deceit. With God as my strong tower, who could I not defeat? So I loosed myself from those strings that had me bound. Standing on God's word, now I reach for higher ground. No longer a puppet in Satan's majestical play. No longer will I be used, abused, or led astray. I put my trust in the one that knows all and sees all. The one that won't hesitate to pick me up when he sees me fall. He dusts me off and says to me, Child, don't ever fret. Through your darkest day, test and trial, have I ever failed yet? I've led and guided you when you thought you lost your way. Now why would I leave you and allow you to ever be led astray? Just continue, continue to seek me and strive to do my will. I will be your protector, healer, and confidant until that great day when we can meet each other face to face in my father's house, a most beautiful and wondrous place. So now I'm a part of God's greater plan, preaching, teaching, and reaching out to my fellow men, telling them about the great love of Jesus Christ, how he skillfully yet delicately altered my life. So my performance is solely for the Lord thy God that sits high upon a throne. For him will I live my life. For him and him alone.